Hi, this is Jackie from GrowWithNoName.com, and not long ago I had the distinct honor and pleasure of interviewing none other than Mike Geary, the author of The Truth About Six-Pack Abs and The Fat-Burning Kitchen. And here are some of the things that he had to say. I've been doing bicep curls forever. What the heck? You know, an abs. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not stuck in that frustrating rut where I was before of just like a million bicep curls and, and uh, chest, machine chest flies and kind of getting nowhere, you know. So um, I wanted to talk a little bit about age, too, because I had someone ask me, um, you know, if, it, if it's harder to do over the age of 40, which surprises me personally because I'm over 40 and it doesn't really stop me. Uh, I did it. So, But why don't you talk to, talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, personal age of the person and if it gets harder or even impossible, the older the person gets. Um, no, I, I mean, I don't think it gets harder. I mean, even though I'm not, you know, over 40 myself, yeah, I'm 34 right now, but I can tell you I'm in a lot better shape now at 34 than I was at 21. But yet the funny thing is when I was 21, I remember all the 30-year-olds telling me, oh, just wait till you get over 30, you know, know. you're going to get a gut, and, you're, <laughs> and I'm in better shape now. You know, same thing, I mean, I'm going to be in probably better shape when I'm over 40. It, you know, the, the, i constantly learning, constantly trying new things, and I, I think you can just always, you know, you, you definitely reach a peak, but you can always just, you know, keep trying to improve. But some of the, you know, I know guys that were obese in their 30s and are in phenomenal shape in their 40s, um, I know people who are in phenomenal shape in their 60s. It, yeah. it just it just takes um, really making fitness part of your lifestyle, and making it a priority, and you know not making a you know watching six hours of TV a day a priority. You know, so right. it's uh, it, it really is just about the lifestyle. And, and like I said, I mean, almost it doesn't age doesn't really matter to an extent. Um, you can stay in great shape um, way, you know, way into you know, even 60s and 70s. Right, right. Okay. Um, I've also had a couple of my uh, women followers ask about post-childbirth weight and the actual flat stomach, six-pack sort of look. Um, what's your experience with, with um, you know, new mothers or older mothers or whatever? Is it impossible to get that pre-childbirth body back or even even – attain something they didn't have before childbirth and get that six-pack? Uh, I mean, it's definitely attainable, and I've seen uh, just tons of examples of women who have gotten back into um, tremendous shape after having kids. Uh, you know, obviously there's some major physical, physiological changes that happen when they're pregnant, and, um, you know, they're naturally going to, even the women that don't gain much weight, you're going to gain a little bit of body fat and some women might get you know the stretch marks and things like that but but you can definitely you know if you're doing things right get back to at least a flat stomach I mean you know you might not be as if you had a perfect body it might not you know be able to get back to you know the perfection that it once was but I've you know I've seen some great examples of women who have you know who have gained the weight with pregnancy and, you know, a few months after they have their kids, you know, they get back into fitness big time and just totally get back into into amazing shape. Yeah. I mean, it all, it all still boils down to perseverance and dedication, too, you know. I mean, you can't try for three weeks and give up. You have to stick with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, hey, since we're on the subject of uh, working out women, do you mind if we go off on just a minor tangent for a sec? I preach this sure. a lot, um, but to be quite honest, um, it's what I read personally in Truth About Abs that woke me up to this years ago, but now it's become a major, major pet peeve of mine, and that is women who won't lift heavy because they don't want to bulk up. So please share your thoughts on this one. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my pet peeves too. And, um, and and as much as I preach it, a lot of times I, I, I find that I have to – the only way I can convince women to believe me on this one is to, is to have another female um, – you know, uh, preach it for me. So like, uh, because, you know, they don't want to, they say, well, you're a man and, you know, and, and, you know, this isn't going to apply to me, this heavy lifting. And, um, but I don't agree with that at all because now, and this is, and I'm not going to say this applies to everyone. There are a lot of women out there who, who have totally figured this out and, and are getting themselves into great shape because they're doing it right now. But, 
the biggest mistake I've seen, I used to see all the time when I trained people in the gyms, was um, probably 90% or more of women don't, when they're doing resistance training, they don't train to their level to challenge their bodies, you know, their, to challenge their muscles enough to create a metabolic stimulus for change. So, right. you know, the, the, every woman I've, you know, had do, say, like a chest press with dumbbells, they go to grab like the eight-pound dumbbells, and I'm like, no way. we got to at least start with 20s. And then, and then that's still too light. And then the next thing you know, they're going 30s. And it's like, you know, and it's, they were never, so they were using eight pounds. And in one session, just, just by trying, you know, they're, they're doing 30s and they're, they could probably still move up in weight because they were just never challenging themselves enough because they have this fear of bulking up. And that's just not going to happen. I mean, first of all, um, there are certain types of training programs when you get really heavy. I mean, I'm talking, you know, doing two reps, three rep maxes, you know, like where where you fail at three reps. I mean, that's heavy weight. And that is actually, that actually doesn't build mass. I mean, the, the routines where you're doing 15, 20 reps per set would build more mass than when you're doing a super heavy weight for only two or three reps. Now, I'm not saying you know, most people actually, that's very advanced training. Most people, you know, aren't at the level where they can do two to three rep maxes for, um, you know, safely. So I'm not saying I'm recommending it. I'm just, you know, saying the extreme end of that, the, you know, the heaviest lifting actually doesn't build mass at all. Um, So, and also when I was, um, of all of the women I, I think back to that I trained, the ones that were in the best shape and had the, the leanest, you know, best bodies, were the ones that weren't afraid to train heavy with resistance training. And that's, you know, that's not just, when I say resistance training, so it's not just weight lifting. That could be body weight training too, you know, pull-ups, push-ups, dips, things like that. Um, but they weren't afraid to train heavy, and because of that, they got results. Um, I mean, I, I even had um, a few females who were deadlifting, you know, 175 pounds, and, I mean, that's a lot of weight for most women, and they were not bulky. I mean, they were the they were the leaner ones. So, you know, my point is you've got to train your muscles hard enough through resistance training to actually make your body need to change. You've got to force a change in your body, and that's not going to happen using three- or eight-pound dumbbells, you know. Yeah, you've got to feel it. You've got to be able to feel it, really feel it. Exactly. Yeah, and I think some of it might be mindset as well. Women were brought up to believe that we're delicate and, you know, we're not supposed to do anything that makes us sweat and, you know, oh, I'm a woman, I can't lift that heaviness. And I've found with most of my clients, it only takes a couple of weeks to really show them that, yes, you can, really, yeah. you really can. And then once that mindset thing flips, um, you know, the sky's the limit at that stage. And let me point out another thing with the heavy lifting um Another thing females don't have to worry about with heavy lifting is is that it all has to do with your nutrition, too, and your calorie intake, that if your calorie intake is where it needs to be, it is impossible to gain muscle to the point where you get bulky. I mean, you have to be taking in a surplus of calories to gain muscle mass like that. So if you're... Well, obviously, the interview is a lot longer than this. So if you want to hear the rest, just head over to gwnn.me slash Mike Geary Talks, and you can check out the whole interview there.